Okay, so here's a little look at, uh, first look actually at uh, iWork for I, iWorks for iCloud. And I've just logged in with my uh, developer login and I've got the beta version going here. So I just wanted to take a quick look at it. Uh, so this isn't scripted, I'm just uh, kind of uh, winging it as I go along here. Uh, what I've done actually uh, is upload a, a keynote that I've already had, created that I uh, presented last year. And uh, it looks like all slides are intact. Looks like uh, everything is just looks as it was in Keynote. So the iCloud version looks exactly the same. If I uh, close out of here, you can show the landing screen for uh, 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 for Keynote, and uh, you can see the presentation I've uploaded. And you can also add and create a new presentation and complete it right within the browser. So again, you get basic templates, the similar templates that you have in, in Keynote. I'm just going to select one here, uh, Renaissance. And uh, the template opens up for you, and uh, you can start editing. You can start creating your, uh, your Keynote, just as you would in Keynote. Double click my presentation. You can delete stuff if you want and using keyboard shortcuts work just fine here uh, if I wanted to add an image I could uh, select an image from my computer uh, for instance if I want to add a shape I could do that if I wanted to add some more text I could plug in a text text box and uh, start editing that as well and it looks like it's pretty basic and it functions well and uh, I guess what uh, Apple is trying to do is uh, rival um, Google Docs and Google Drive, I guess, a little bit with uh, online or cloud version of, of iWorks. So there's basic uh, editing uh, as well in terms of text around uh, fill, shadows, opacity. Uh, you can change text, uh, font types and sizes and old and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can arrange, bring forward and back, and that sort of thing. So those are the very basic things that you can do, and it, it looks like it functions very well, and just as it would if you were working right within, uh, right within uh, Keynote itself. So if I close, uh, let's see if I close off this presentation. Yeah, it looks like it's automatically saved. I can go back to it. I can uh, rename it if I want, and. Uh, continue working so it looks pretty pretty easy to do if I go back to my uh, iCloud beta, beta home screen do the same with pages and numbers for instance getting started with with numbers I can select a template or I can use a blank spreadsheet here it opens up and it looks like I can just you know work on my spreadsheet uh, putting data into my cells uh, using formulas just as I would in uh, in uh, the regular version of numbers. So initial glance, it looks nice, it looks pretty, uh, it seems to function well, there's no lag or anything like that, and uh, it looks like a good start and a bit of a rival for, uh, for Google Docs.